are done with the exit ticket, I want you to get ready by taking your packets out and your practice worksheet also. But only when you're done with the exit. And remember that to show me that you're done with the exit ticket, you close the screen, even if you're going to do another one later on. Actually, two more today. And we're keeping the silent. We're keeping the silent as a respect for the ones who are still working on the exit ticket. If you're done, tilt your screen, close your computer, or, or just like, that shows me you're done. Can you pass those half papers back, please? Okay. So what I want you to do now is to consult about these questions with your partner, or your priest, um, and write the answers on that paper. The choices are not there, right? And, um, and then we're going to take this uh, exit ticket again for great. Okay? We're good? Any questions about this next activity? And go. it's true or false um, and in the options of the answers I think it's this but this other one is kind of close too 
Um, I think maybe people may make a mistake with this one. Am I making a mistake? Am I sure my answer? Okay, so, if it didn't, go back and talk about the why for one more minute. Go! Don't close your computers, you're going to need them for another exit ticket in the escritura uh, project. Adarsh, what happened? Okay, so it follows that ER ending, right? The formula for the ER ending, except for the nosotros. Nosotros is the one that stays in IR, right? 
So guys, remember I need you to speak up, right? What I really want to hear is your answers on the video. Numero tres. And I want to hear from Seidel. What is the correct form for the IR ending, ending verbs? O, S, E, Imos, N. Okay, wait. So, isn't it this one? Is it, is it the last Why not? I don't. Um. Johnny, what did you tell him? It's ending verbs. I'm sorry? E-R uh -huh. ending verbs. It's for the go as... You're talking about the third one, right? Uh -huh. Why is it wrong? Uh -huh. Because that's for the E... Well, it's wrong because it's the R ending verbs. Okay, everybody, them. talk to your partners about this. Why is the, the third one wrong? Hello. uno. Who wants to answer? Okay, Michelle? <laughs> it's not a uh, C because it's for each ending except for for Ned or Avo. I said it ends with G O, but everything else endings are O, so and then it can't be anything else. So okay. From the verbs we have learned, it's only I said and poner that the first one goes with G O, right? But that's E R endings, right? Okay, so there's a lot of reasons why that's not right, because that G makes it all wrong, right? It's only for a few verbs in the ER ending that that happens. Muy bien, número tres, Ian. No, cuatro, perdón. instead of changing to an E. Muy bien, I like that response. Anybody has a question or a doubt? Okay. Jala? Um, it's the second one. The second one, B? Uh-huh. Um, Why? Because it's supposed to end in Emos and IMO. Boys? Because it's supposed to end in Emos. And okay. it's not the last one because the last one is spelled wrong. Okay, there's an E added there, right? Muy bien. Talk to your partner on why do you think you made a mistake on the second turn going on. Go. Just choosing with your finger. What does that teach us? Slow down. Be more careful. Exercise with your hands. Oh, you're raising your hand, huh? You see that little e on the last one? That little e snuck on me, man. I, I, I. Good. So, what do what do we learn with that? I didn't. I didn't pay attention. I was just too busy because I got all on right, and I was like, Woo! I'm going, and then boom. Now, what you have to do is, don't get cocky, right? Go slow. Pay attention to the tiny little details. Why are people looking at him like <laughs> Because it might happen a little too often. Okay, okay. It doesn't matter, right? The idea is to learn from this. Okay? Muy bien. Um, I want you please to, te to check with your partner, 8-9. Check that worksheet. It was the homework for yesterday that we did not check. Go.
the custard. You can't do 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 the Why would you be confused, Vicky? But in the first one, you have a choice between poner and hacer. So wait, the, they're asking you if you are making a table, like like you're a carpenter? Oh, wait. So it's not hacer, right? I said it's to do, like to make, like a carpenter. Uh -huh. So, correct it, guys. And anybody else that chose I said, correct it, because that's not right. Did you put Ponet? Did you choose Ponet? Mr. Oliver? Oh, what? Oh, what? Put me distracted? We're on number eight, right? Did you choose Ponet, No, I put Ponet. Okay. That means you chose poner and you conjugated to pon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> 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 Muy bien. So let's do it again, Daniel and Rafael. 
¿Pones tú la mesa para tu familia, familia todos los días? No, yo no hago mesa. So you're still making a, 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 a table? No, yo no pongo la mesa. Para mí y mi abuela, el pueblito lo prefieren poner. So, mi prima. Remember what mi prima means? Mi prima y mi abuelita, ya. Yeah. Lo prefieren poner, wait. A ¿Poner o hacer? Hacer. Why now you you should use a set? Talk to your partner. Sometimes you need to be quirky. Sometimes you don't need to be quirky. Yeah. Where's the balance here? Tres, dos, uno. So I hope you were discussing why. At the end one, we are doing a set. And anyway, the choice at the end was what? What was the choice at the end? Hacer. Hacer or tener, right? It wasn't even poner. Okay, so between hacer and tener, which verb should you choose? And then we're gonna see if we conjugate it or not, or how we conjugate it. So can somebody explain why hacer or tener would be the right answer? Uh, I see a lot of not many hands up. Okay, Jenna? They prefer to do something? Okay. Which is to put the table. That's what you're doing. Okay, we're bien. Now, so what is the conjugation, Robert? Hacen? Because it's primo and abuelita? Prima and abuelita? Haram, I like that you're raising your hand. Tell me. Um, I picked hacer because you know. prefer was already conjugated. Preferen is already conjugated. Uh, second verb stays in. Uh, so second uh, verb stays in. Uh, Infinitive. Uh, Prefieren is already conjugated. So the second verb will stay in. Infinitive. Infinitive. Hacer. Sí. Hacer. Okay, so it's not just the flow, see if it sounds right and everything. We still remember yesterday, though, we have to still do that analysis of the grammar thing, okay? You have to go very precisely. And when you are checking with your partner, if you still didn't get this, still means we're still reflecting. Okay, we made mistakes, but that's okay. Just as long as we reflect that. What is it that we do wrong so that we don't do it again, right? And now do we understand? Now do we learn? Okay. Is there any other, there was an issue on 8-9. So everybody's looking to see if there's another issue in there. Everybody's checking it again. That's what everybody's doing. Okay. Okay. Gotta be getting ready next week. We're gonna have the, the test, but between Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. Muy bien. I have given you uh, ahora lo sabes uh, the exit uh, slip that we did yesterday, two days ago, and now uh, you have your peers. Now, I would suggest that you open your book just to make sure that they wrote completely and they didn't write something else, which happened in wrong one. Uh, and you're individually checking for the right answers, you may talk to your partner if you need a consultation about this, okay? Any question about how you're checking out a Los Aves? 273. 273. Michelle? Michelle? So you are correcting. If there is a mistake, you are correcting. And there was one without a name, so we're going to have to find that. Try as best as you can, because right now you're being the editor.
Okay, you can consult with your partner if you need to. like can you tell who is doing what was it what was it for number four there, what someone prefers and if they still their their statement still says what someone prefers then it's fine it's like in another one uh, it was instead of mis hermanos it was mi madre but the, co the verb was correctly conjugated so you're still telling what someone the possessive of someone. Okay, so that's fine. The possessive of someone, it's not right. Using a possessive adjective. Okay, so that would be fine too. So we might need to get up, or we might need to ask somebody to pass the papers around. Pass the papers around, and this should be very back to their owners. And this should be very important for us to remember to study for the test. Who writes with a green pen? And did not write their name on the paper? No, I did not write No, I know you have written. Who writes with a green pen and did not write their, their name on the paper? Hey, this one. Can I pick it up from Russia? Por favor. Por favor. Tres. Dos. Uno. Okay, that was a good moment to stretch our legs. And now we're all back at our seat with our paper. You're stretching in the back. Okay, I think we're going to do P class here. Muy bien. Ahora, abra tu libro en la página 276, 277. Vamos a leer. So I want you to listen carefully to my instructions. You are going to be following the instructions on 276-277. Like the first one says, it's a strategy using your prior knowledge. Prior knowledge of, remember, there's a lot of cognates. And when you are to read, this is a very short story. When you are to read a story, all in Spanish, there's going to be some words that you don't know, but most of the time they're going to be cognates. If they're not cognates, guess with the context of the, the story, the, the text. So, you're going to bring that prior knowledge in. Then you're going to skim the reading just to see the parts and the pictures. Don't let the pictures distract you. That happened <laughs> quite. I'm sure some of you are already distracted by the pictures. <laughs> Don't let the pictures distract you from the meaning of the text. Focus more on the text. Now, sometimes the pictures can help you understand the text. Just don't let them distract you too much from understanding the text. And then you're going to read very carefully everything, and then you're going to consult with your partners. You have about two to three minutes for the whole reading thing. So right now, let's read silently.
Salut! Okay, so what you're going to do now, you're going to consult with your partner three things. Things you don't understand. Anything that was overly interesting. <laughs> and answer one, two, and three. And go!
mother, I think, didn't let her go, but then, like, the two siblings got to go, and in this case, um, the mom, like, found out about the party, and she didn't allow the... It's a mom? Well, no. Stepmother. The stepmother didn't allow the boy to go, but she allowed the siblings. And then um, something that's similar to is that, like, a fairy godmother pops up, and then she, like, grants him his wish to let him go to the party. And then okay, so let's do a test to someone else, because you're doing that marvelously. <laughs> <laughs> She's on a roll! Okay, can I have another difference? And I actually only had one, because I was eavesdropping while I was walking. Uh, I guess one like, difference is, like... Uh, like with a fairy godmother, I think it's a uh, Cinderella changes, but I think like changed uh, something into a carriage. This one, she changed a vacuum into a into a limousine. Okay, a, a vacuum into a limousine. And what's the animal that they use? They don't use mice for horses, but they use what? Dog. Dog for what? Chauffeur. For chauffeur. <laughs> okay, muy bien, excelente. Yeah. So there was no uh, problem with colonies, was it? No. No. Okay. Numero dos, I want to hear from Jenna. Um, the turning point story is when the fairy godmother comes because that's when he, that's when she like um, gave him the chance to actually go to the party. Okay. Does anybody disagree with that? Any other answer? And Chris Neal, numero tres. Oh, in the real Cinderella story? Okay. Okay. So, he wanted the shoe ending part of the real Cinderella story in this one, right? And they don't have it. You realize it's part of making it short, right? Uh, so, Raksha and then, uh, then Jenna and then I think Michelangelo and Jenna. 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 Sorry. Go. Um, Sorry. I don't agree with the way this story ends because in the last part it says that he's the personal personal assistant for this princess and you're going to go through all that just to be his per oh. <laughs> like friend zone basically. Yeah. Like you dance with her and you turn into like the personal assistant and all that. He doesn't turn into a prince. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I like that. I didn't, I didn't think of that word. That's a good one. Did you raise your hand? Well, I was stretching, but then I was like, um, I was kind of confused how like the shirts and stuff kept changing colors. Like first it was yellow, then it was blue, then it was black, then it turned like into a red suit. <laughs> so don't get the pictures. Don't let the pictures distract you too much from the you know the story. But yeah, I know. And then some of their skin was darker, and I thought it was because of the light, but yeah. Let's not focus too much on that. That must have been a very bad editing like, like issue. Ugly, 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 okay, Janelle. <laughs> Janelle. Okay. No, don't tell me. 
Dos, uno. Ok, now I want to hear, and I'm not going to call, but I want you, if you haven't participated yet today in class, to raise your hand and tell me, how did this article story has to do with anything about making houses into homes? Mostly if you haven't participated, we're going to let the ones that haven't participated in, then we're going to go. So, Devin, it. Um, so... You're not talking about the physical appearance, though, right? We okay, could. So, so I was telling Juan, like, I d think it depends on, like, the environment. So, it's, I think it comes from, like, the comfort in, like, the people that are in the house. So then, like, if you're not really happy where you are and you can't go home to be happy, um, it's not a place that you can really call home. Okay. Again. Anybody else? Michelle. Group was talking about how um, that it relates to, like, because in this chapter we're learning about chores, household chores, and how Esteban or Cinderella had to, like, Cinderella, <laughs> Cinderella <laughs> had, to, um, had to do all the chores in the house and kind of similar work to what the nurse and nurse and not really home, like, just in where it's work. It's not something that you can call recently. Okay, adoption. Thank you for raising your hand. So that everybody's like definition of home is different. It's like how the story is like Cinderella. It's like Cinderella lives. So obviously it tries to relate to the Cinderella, but it can may have its own differences, right? Mm -hmm. you know, it can make some plot twists. Okay, so you think that someone that has to do all the work at home, kind of like a slave, and it's not and he's not appreciated. Feels like he's in a home? No. Okay. No. So, appreciation, love, <coughs> comfort, all those words that I hear have to do with how you feel at home. Is. Remember that the whole idea is that you're thinking not only how you want your structure of your house to be once you get to have a house, but what you're going to do inside your house, right? How you're going to make it into a home. Okay? And when you're planning that, by yourself, or so with your partner, spouse, whatever, please remember this class and use some Spanish words, okay? <laughs> Muy bien. So right now I want you to open uh, Exit Ticket again, and you're going to do an Exit Ticket called Cognates, and then you get to work on your writing speaking project. Yes! Okay, Exit Ticket is in silencio, so we're going to... <laughs> Start our silencio right now. Gracias por estar en silencio. Yes, I know, but I'm, I'm waiting for most of you because it's really short. By the way, this exit ticket is not the multiple choice. It's where you fill out the answer, the word. Um, it's not graded. So if your spelling is not the same as my spelling, but you have the idea, that's what's important. And I think everybody's going to get it. Okay, I think everybody's there. It's open.
Well, I should let you know that I couldn't spell. Block one helped me spell in English a lot. A lot.
and upside down question mark and the enye but also on the chromes you can go to settings and make sure that, that you have the two keyboards and you can do that in any computer you have to set it up obviously if you have the Spanish keyboard and you can have it in any language uh, some keys will change so there's a key for P and then there's a key for uh, brackets so when you want to put an accent mark you, I love how everybody's looking over here. <laughs> because in this, remember it's a writing activity. So in this writing activity, even accent marks that need to be there, need to be there. So, let's say you want to put estas, the, uh, you are at, right? So, you're going to click this one and then A. So what's going to happen, it's going to do this and then this, boom. You got it. Or you can go that way. Now, for the ñ, uh, the semicolon colon <coughs> becomes a ñ when you have the Spanish keyboard on the chromes. Okay? And the upside down question mark is, so the question mark is here, the two keys here, one is upside down, one is normal question mark. Okay? So, you're going to have to learn and play with it, but next year you're probably going to be using it a lot more. So you're going to want to set it up. If not, know these numbers. You can work on any kind of keyboard. But accent marks need to be there. Like, estás, tú, también. All of those need to happen. And estás, won't, Spanish won't correct it for you because it does also mean something else. Okay, so that is attention. I'm gonna check, but then that means in three minutes we're all putting crumbs away. work. 
Now, I do recommend, because things happen, I do recommend that that project, you also have it saved outside of the folder that's shared with all of us, so that if anything happens, you have it backed up somewhere where nobody else can touch it. Okay? So have two copies and be updating e uh, e each one. Thank you for being such great um, class and allowing me to film you.